Okay, so for this video, we'll be discussing about Bootstrap, particularly Jumbotron, Images, Buttons, Button Groups, and Grid System. So Jumbotron. A Jumbotron indicates a big gray box for calling extra attention to some special content or information. And of course, you can change the gray box into other colors. So the syntax is just div class equals jumbotron and then inside this you can place your html codes and then slash div so here is an example so this is our template and you can download this template using the link below this video so this will already include the necessary files the job, uh, jQuery files, JavaScript files, and the CSS files used by Bootstrap. So again, this is the demo. This is the same template. And then here, I'm going to create a Jumbotron. So I have here division class equals Jumbotron slash div. And then inside this, I have here my h1. So I, have pl I place a heading h1 and then I place a paragraph so of course the text doesn't uh, the text is quite meaningless but of course just to demonstrate that what we have here is actually a paragraph so that means I have a heading and a paragraph inside my Jumbotron so if you go to display that this will be the appearance so we have a gray box and then we have here our heading one and below the heading one we have the paragraph so that's Jumbotron and bootstrap images so we have also classes that will format images using bootstrap so first we can use the rounded class to display image with rounded corners so to, to use this we just type or we just place in our code img and then class equals rounded okay so the corners will be rounded for the images and similarly we can also use the rounded circle class to shape the image into a circle so if you want a circular image then you can use rounded circle class so to use this so we can see here that we just use img class equals rounded dash circle so that's the class we're going to use and we can also use the img dash thumbnail class to shape the image into a thumbnail that means the uh, image will be bordered so img class equals img does thumbnail so that's how we uh, these are the classes that we can use with our images now how do we align bootstrap images so to align bootstrap images we can use float right or float left to align images so to use this we can just add the class so let's say for example img class equals float left so that means that the image that will be displayed by this code will be placed on the left side of your uh, the container so if you use float right then of course it will be placed on the right side how about if you want to center an image so to center an image we have mx dash auto that means we're going to have auto margin for x that's the horizontal margin so horizontal margin should be automatic and then d black so why do we have the d black that means we're going to display the image as a black because an image is an inline element so we cannot just center an inline element so here we converted the image into a block and then we use auto margin for the x axis so automatic margin and display block properties to center images okay so this is how we do it img class equals mx does auto d block and then maybe we can have here the source etc so also we can add the img fluid for responsive images 
So here's the demo. So this is our Jumbotron. And then we added an image to our Jumbotron. So we have IMG class equals rounded circle. So source is IMG. So this is the source. And we place a width for our image. So uh, the same width and height so that I can have a perfect circle. So this is the same code that we have a while ago except that I made the paragraph quite longer and then I inserted an image. So if we go to display, this will be our output. So this is our Jumbotron. Here's our circular image. And then here's our H1 and then here's our paragraph. So that's the output of the code a while ago. So let's go back to the code. So again, I have here the image and then H1 and then a paragraph all inside a Jumbotron. So again, this is the output. Then let's try to change the image. So instead of uh, the rounded image, we use IMG thumbnail and we use float right. So we have two classes here, but the same, still the same width and height, the same code except for the class that we use for our image. So you notice here now that our image is now on the right side and it is now bordered white. So that's the thumbnail, image thumbnail. Now let's take a look at Bootstrap buttons. So Bootstrap provides several button styles. So these are the basic, the primary, secondary, success, info, warning, danger, dart, light, and link. So these are actually example output of the button class. So how do we use this? We just place them in our button. So for example, button type equals button and then class equals BTN. So basic slash button. So that means this is now the basic button. If we use BTN and then we added the BTN primary class in our button, in our button code, then we have the primary button. And then the same is true with the secondary. We have the secondary button, so colored gray. So success by default is colored green. Info, something like cyan. Then warning, yellow, danger is red, and then dark, a little bit black, or that's dark gray, maybe. And then light, so, and then link. So these are some of the classes we can use for our buttons. Now we can also use, or well, we can have our button outlined just like in this case. So what we're going to do is similar to what we have a while ago, but so we have your BTN and then BTN dash outline dash primary. So we just inserted the dash outline so that what we're going to have are outline buttons. So similar with our code a while ago, but again, we insert the outline. So the output will be like this. We have button outlines. We can also change the sizes of our buttons. So by default, we can use the BTN LG for large buttons. If we don't place anything, that's the default size. And BTN SM for small buttons. Now, if we add the class BTN Black, this will create a black level button that spans the entire width of the parent element. So just like for example in this case we have a this is a sample of a button black. So example button type equals button class BTN BTN primary BTN black. So full width button. That's only this is the output of this code. A button can be set to an active or a disabled state. So when it is disabled, that means it is unclickable. So the class that active or the active class makes a button ap appear pressed. And the disabled attribute makes the button unclickable. Note that the A elements do not support the disabled 
attribute and must therefore use the disabled class to make it visually appear disabled. So in this example, button type equals button class, BTN, BTN primary, active. So it is it appear to be pressed, so active primary. Button type button class equals BTN, BTN primary, disabled. Then you notice that this is quite grayed or the core is different and it is it becomes unclickable. So here in our demo, we have here again our image, then heading, and then below our paragraph. So this is our paragraph. Below our paragraph, we place here a button. Uh, totally two buttons. So one is for registering and the other button is for login. And both are large buttons. And I have here ML-1. That means margin left dash one. So the first uh, set of margin so setting or merging so i think there are five settings margin settings so here i have now my output building now and then here's a paragraph then here's my image and then below are two buttons register and log in now let's discuss the bootstrap grid system so the bootstrap grid system is built with flexbox and allows up to 12 columns across the page or 12 columns per row or across a page. If you do not want to use 12 columns individually, you can group the columns together to create wider columns. So just in like in this example, we have 12 spans and then you can also have wider columns by having four spans combined or we can have spans with different width but again if you add let's say for example here four 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 that will be equivalent to 12 here also four and eight that's equivalent to 12 six and six that's equivalent to 12 or we can have a single column so a span of 12 so the grid system is responsive and the columns will rearrange automatically depending on the screen size. So make sure that the sum adds up to 12 or fewer. It is not required that you use all 12 available columns. So it can be fewer than 12. So bootstrap grid classes. So bootstrap for grid system has five classes. This is the dot call. So for extra small devices that is these are devices with screen width less than 576 pixels call is m for small devices screen width equal to or greater than 576 call md or medium devices screen width equal to or greater than 768 so large screen width is equal to or greater than 992 and call xl so extra large devices screen width equal to or greater than 1200 pixels the classes above can be combined to create more dynamic and flexible layouts so each class scales up so if you wish to set the same width for sm and md you only need to specify sm okay so again if you want to use sm and md you just specify sm in fact most of the time in my case i usually just use sm so here's an uh, here's a some sort of a structure or a template. So first is we have to define the row. So class row, and then inside the row is where we define the columns. So again, row, and then you define the columns. So for the, you change the asterisk whether, for example, you use is MD or SM or LG, and then you place here the numbers. So let's say for example I use SM-6. So here maybe is another SM-6 so that if we add the numbers it will be equal to 12 or it can be lesser. So I can place it call SM-3, call SM-7, so that's 10, call SM-2. So that's possible, 3, 7, 2 because if we add that's equivalent to 12. Or if you want you can let bootstrap automatically handle the layout so we just type class equals column without placing anything here so that means we have equivalent 
with every time but uh, I really suggest that we use this one rather than letting bootstrap automatically handle the layout so to demonstrate so I have free class container fluid with this I'll be placing later on after my jumbotron so container fluid class row so I have my class row so this is the start of the class row and ends with this slash div and then inside I have here call sm so you notice I have three 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 so if we add this it is equivalent to 12 and inside its column I have an image with a width of 100% So the output for that will be something like this. So this is the Jumbotron and beside, uh, below my Jumbotron I have here four images. So equal length because I use 3, 3, 3, and 3. Now I just would like to show you the actual web page. So where is my actual web page? So this is the actual web page. Let me close this one first. Um, I would like to show you that this is actually a responsive web page. So what do I mean by responsive? So it adjusts itself depending on the size of your monitor. So how do I test for that? So I'm using, currently I'm using Chrome. So you can click on this button here and then look for more tools and then developer tools so this will be show so other features I'll just explain them maybe later but for now I just would like to show you that this one is responsive and how do we test for that so you notice here I have here a button to toggle the device toolbar so if I click on this then it will show to me the appearance of my page if it is opened using a cell phone so you notice that's the appearance of my web page okay so if I click on that again then it will go back to the maybe appearance if it is open using a laptop or maybe a desktop okay so that ends my demo for this video thank you very much